Greetings, I want to interrupt your regularly scheduled episode since Steve-O made this comment here and I had already recorded this episode before this and I want to get this out to y'all because it is so handy. So as far as fast crafting is concerned, as you can see, he's saying that if you, oh, let's make sure we have fast crafting on, it seems like I must have turned it off. Instant, well fast building, look at that, we'll set that back on, let's go. So if you click it, every time you click, it goes. So every single click, you can rapid fire, it's done. So, when you rapid click, that's how fast build actually works. So if I'm building this thing, I'm just clicking as fast as I can, it is going to be done. And there you go. That's how fast building works. And that can be handy now. That can definitely make it a lot easier to build your buildings, and you don't have to sit here and slowly wait like I was doing before. And now, we bring you back to your regularly scheduled episode. Thank you. Greetings and welcome back to New Sosogi. And our second day in our playthrough, well actually I think it's our third day, what am I saying? It is our second day, Never mind. Our second day here, and we are looking to finish up a few things. I believe in the last time, I did not turn in my quests yet. Ah, rebuilding the bridge leading out of Sosogi. So the way this works, for those who are, you're starting fresh, you're right playing this game, you're following along with me, in order to finish that bridge project, we need to... Oh, I need to assign me a home before I can do anything else. Hmm. Well, that might be worth a while to do here. So tell you what, the way you do is you just assign them to the job. Now, I have not confirmed whether you need to even be concerned about the, the end of the season assignment or during the season. So what I want to find out today or in our next episode, one of, the, one of these next two episodes, I want to find out... Can we just wait until the end of the season to finish the small bridge project, the small bridge projects and things like that? I think the answer is going to be yes. Oh yes, I forgot. I also had some skill unlocks while we were while I was away. So we should definitely unlock haggling so our prices are better and that we can sell better things. Our initial relationship uh, being neutral is it's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about that. So we'll take those two right away. Let's see your efficient craftsman. Why not? Why not? And then stamina tool use gives us less stamina use. Okay, great. We're already maxed out in craftsmen. This one, I need to attack more things, so we'll get there. And then there's another shrine. Actually, we'll do that right now. So I'll chop down some trees, and in the process of chopping down those trees, let me go. Oh, let's go together and let's go find that shrine. I'll show you exactly where it's at. And by the way, just so you're aware, when you're getting your resources, you can chop these logs into firewood. Please don't. Once you have the workstations, that's where you want to get your logs, or that's where you want to get your firewood and your planks from. Don't use the, don't use the hand tools because they give you half as much as you could have otherwise. And when you're chopping down small trees, the ones that say they give you sticks or firewood, you're going to notice that they give you almost nothing. They give you one firewood and maybe a little bit of sticks. It's not, it's not really worth the time. It'll, it's better. Oop, bunny coming right at me. It's coming right for me. See, it's not really worth your time doing that kind of work. Oh, dude, you're kidding me. Ooh, that's a great find. Okay, so, dude, no way. We are definitely getting decked out here. Now, by the way, just so you're aware, when you try to drop your clothes on, it doesn't work. You got to take them off and put them on. Nice. Look at our fit. I'm good with that. All right, all right. I'm, I'm, this was a good little journey. I'm happy. In order to get a blessing from this particular shrine, we need chrysanthemum. And I don't think they bloom until summer now, which means I'll have to buy some. But at least we know where the shrine is. So we'll open it up. And when you open up, again, you get a great animation, which I happen to really enjoy. I just love that they did these little small scenes. It makes it more vibrant. Now, let's see here. When we leave here, we won't have a blessing because I wasn't able to leave an offering. And that's not a huge deal. So... We will look here to say shrine is open. It says leave an offering. Oh, got to get it to there. Chrysanthemum, yellow chrysanthemum. We'll, we can go for that in the future. All right, our people are going to need some food, and I, I have a rather, I have an entertaining solution to that. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this. So first and foremost, let's just get our houses built. That's a thing I want to do. I also want to show you this little view. I think this is fun. A nice little spot. This is where I'm probably going to do all my intros to my villages. Or all my intros to my villages. <laughs> all the intros to my videos. Jeez. Let's see if I can say it. I just, I like the area. So, right? 
cool spot. Nice little decorations. A lot of nests if you want eggs. And by the way, we do still have our Blessing of Anarion. I am really happy that they increased the duration on it. All right, check it out. Look at that view. Gorgeous. Awesome. I think it's super pretty. So this is a spot where I'm definitely going to you know, utilize, since I, I like the look of it. All right, we'll head on down here. Oh, we can get some Gobo. Uh, I'm not sure this is really worth it. I'm not sure that's worth it. We have so much more we could be doing. All right, let's see here. Did I get everything out of her thing? Lingonberries, we have healing balm. Oh, cool. Yeah, that was a big, that's a big deal. Glad to have done that. We could move these resources into our town if you wanted. You just hold down T and take them. But I'm not, not too worried about that. All right. So what I said was we we're going to build us up some things. I better get on that. Let's get us going. And by the way, are we going to do a fairly cheeky thing at the start here? Maybe. Uh, this whole seashell thing that I told people about in the uh, location video, it's... I also have another video that you'll probably see before I get this one fully um, uh, completed and edited. It's it's pretty silly. I'm hoping that they do something about that because it's... Oh my. It's They might just want to make the... It might just be a good move to just make it more rare to find seashells. Oop. I have a cat trying to control my mouse now. There we go. Welcome, cat. Here we are. Let's head on over. And what I'm doing now, obviously, we went and I found our shrine. Our next step here is to let's see how many sticks do we have? We only have 17. That's not enough. So we better get some more sticks. And I'm not too worried about the. Not too worried about where we're going to build here for now, because I'm not, I'm not sure how long we're going to stay in just this zone. And this is really just a springboard for us. Oh, 131 sticks? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go for this. Some planks. I don't think we need that. I don't think we need it, but I'll take it just to be sure that we're on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to build, I'd say, let's just get a couple more houses in this area. And the reason for it is that we're about to find a whole bunch of refugees. Oh, sorry. Here, I'm not even taking my own advice. Um, Right-clicking to get buildings. We'll go to housing. I can only build small houses, and honestly, it's not a big deal because I don't really want to build the bigger ones just yet. Because, ooh. Oh, wow, that's too bad. The best thing about this is that it doesn't matter. I can just move it. Well, we'll get this thing built up real quick and go from there. I'll see you on the other side of a fast forward. You don't need to watch this slow process. If you get kind of annoyed at seeing these uh, box silhouettes when you walk into buildings, remember just take off your take your hammer and put it away, and then you're set. That's a great way to do it. So let's see here. I'm gonna need a lot of logs, so we better just take as many as these as we can. I guess I'll just hold on. Take all, right? Oh, gee, it made me take these things too. I was hoping it would just do the. I really just wanted the logs, but okay, I see how this is. I see how it is. Oop, I have an indecisive cat. There we go. <laughs> we'll do it like that. Now, I did find some things that are better off being stored in the general storage. Which is to say, this bamboo bottle, I don't need this sitting around in my inventory, and I don't need that, and I do need this. And this torch, I... how many torches do I have? Holy cow! Oh well. Let's head over here. And what's going to end up happening here is we're going to end up hitting into the evening, right? We're going to end up being way late in the day. And we're needing... There we go. Nice. With these setups, I would highly recommend you can... Oh, boo. Ah. With these setups, you can easily get two villagers into one location. A way of the craftsmen. So... The leveling system needs total work, and obviously that's there is a work in progress. The game is a work in progress. All right, then I right click and I go to furniture, and I want housing furniture, I want beds, I want... I could do a sleeping mat. It's not going to change anything, so I'm just going to do this because I have grasses on hand. I do have straw, so maybe we could do that. In the future, when I get some time, I will make a video about what the different decorations look like. I made one way back before the Kintsugi update. And it's, you know, back when I was an early creator, which means I didn't really think about the I didn't really think about the lighting and things like that, unfortunately, so that's not the best. See you on the other side of this fast forward.
All right, we now have two houses. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at how weird it looks right here. That's just not okay. All right, so we're going to get to about here. Where's our entrance? There we go. you got to look at just the right spot with the wood foundation. And I press T, and now let's bring it over here. There we go. I just, uh, that was really, that was way too quick of a move. Now, again, this is one of those things that really makes me happy about the game. It's just a creature comfort thing, right? I mean, it's just like a, hey, I didn't like where I put that thing. I don't like where I put that either. But you know what? I wanted to move it back to its previous location anyway. So now we just need to look a bit. And then let's see, where's our bell tower? You'll notice that the footprint is still kind of there, right? So that's a thing. There we go. We just set it there, right in front of the bushes. Okay, well, that being the case, we now have a few things we can do. I'm not sure why I think I need to gather these things. We can fast travel to Sosogi, which is not going to help us much. Here's what we're going to do. In the next setup here, I want to get more villagers. We now have four spots for them. And I need to get rid of all this nonsense that's in my inventory. We're going to go and do the thing, which is to say, I'm going to go gather all the seashells that I can tolerate myself gathering while I run down the, the seashore. And then when we're done with that, we're going to go sell them off and we're going to have a whole ton of money when we're done with it. Because that is how we make the money in this game right now. There are better ways, and obviously this feels a little... It feels a little broken for now, but it's, you know, rules as written. It's it's fair. Let's see here. I cannot store... I need some food, obviously, here. can't store my water, so I'm kind of curious what I'm going to do about that. My people are going to need some food, but that's not going to be a concern real quick here. I don't have many weapons, but trust me, we're going to be fine. All right, the way this starts off is... If you saw the other video, you already know, and uh, you can probably just skip to the next chapter where I talk about um, when I get to the locations, because what's going to happen is we're going to go find, we're going to get all of our quick travel stuff done, and we're going to go talk to the monastery. So this is going to be a lot of night traveling. You won't be able to see much, so obviously I think, and I will be fast forwarding, obviously, because I don't want you to watch me gather in the night, but this is the start of it. And by the way, is this a decent village to have? I think so. We got a good sunset. We have a good sunrise. It's not a bad location, and it feels good to rebuild for the people. I'll see you at the other side of this. It's going to be quite a while. As a side note, keep in mind when you're running down the beach, you can just run away from the enemies. So don't worry about people coming at you with spears. Just keep on running, you'll be fine. And you're holding down the left shift key to run if you have the basic setups on. Now, when you get to this point here where you see the shrine and that, be sure as you're collecting your seashells, that you make note that there's a house up here. And I want you to make sure that you go into there and talk to the person there. So that starts a quest line out for you. And I can show that to you all in just a moment here. We'll get our seashells and we'll run on up here. Sorry, I don't have a torch. Here we are. And we'll talk to our Shinto princess. And let's ask her about her mother and her people. She was benevolent a couple of moons ago. There's a storm that broke the temple. Great. You get your small gohi wine, or gohi wand, sorry. And then you'll be able to fix this up with a special project. And the way you get to special projects, if you're already set for that, is you get your hammer out, you go here, and you go basic stru structures, and you go special project construction workshop. And what you need to do is just place it anywhere nearby this location. So wherever it allows you, just go for it. There we go. I'll just place it here, and then you have to build it, of course, and you'll need these resources. I don't have them on me. I'll be coming back with those later. Onward. Welcome back, people. It is it is still late in the night. I ran down from the start here in Sasogi, and I went down the shoreline around and around and around. I hired one villager here, went around and around and around, talked to the person in the te in the uh, building near the temple here so I could get that quest unlocked, ran down this coast, down this coast, down this coast. And keep in mind, all of this is shallow water. You can run anywhere in the water around here. And if you run into bandits, just run away from them. Down here, down here, got the place of power. Down here, down here, down all the way to the lighthouse and at the lighthouse i unlocked and finished up my little gathering and found yet another refugee sitting there on the shoreline so i've hired on two people to my village in the process of doing this and i've gathered up oh my gosh i mean it's, it's like 300 shells plus and 11 pearls so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to aratani 
So to get to Aratani, by the way, the way we're going to get there is we're just going to run down this river because it's safe. You won't be ambushed by anything. And then we'll be right here. The other thing we want to go to is we want to get to Segi. Segi is right around here, so I'll end up traveling to there. The monastery is here, so I'll probably take uh, my route to... I'll probably go Aratani, monastery. And our last major place we want to go to is here in Iwasaki. So those are all the big ones we want to get to. Now, the traveling from... If you take the trip from the monastery up to Iwasaki, north... That's going to have a lot of wolves in it, so if you don't want to deal with the wolves in the process, then you may want to take the road from Sosogi east to Uesaki. I'm probably going to do that, because I'm going to be made of money, so I won't be worried about the amount of coin I have. And let's go. We'll run down this river, and keep in mind, all we're doing is following this river in. And I did not pick up every shell, by the way. I picked up the, I'm guessing, vast majority of them, but I didn't worry about the ones that were way out in the water. I figured, eh, it's another shell, that's okay, 60 coins later. But at this point, I'm not going to be worried about money. See you in Aratani. Here we are in Aratani. Aratani is a nice farming village, which, by the way, has something that I'm going to suggest that you take while you're here, which is all of the plants that you want to farm. So if you want to farm leeks, well, congratulations. You can just simply harvest all of their leeks, and now you can make the leek bag when you have a tailoring hut. So, from here we can get any of the plant resources that we want. Parsley is good because it counts as an herb or, I believe, a vegetable. We'll have to double check on that, though. So now I can gather up all of these, and I'm just gathering them for free. Nobody minds. There's plenty of leeks if you want leeks. I mean, my character is going to get hungry at some point. I suppose I can just eat them. And we can go over here, and what do we have here? We have wasabi. All right, let's just grab some of this stuff before we go. It doesn't take a lot to make a bag, which allows you to plant an entire field or have a worker take care of planting a field. Sorry for the darkness in the game. I don't, I've don't. i turned the gamma up as far as I can for brightness, and it's as bright as I can get it here in the night. Oh, look, taro root. Let's do this. So now I have taro roots, and I have taro root seed bag unlocked. That's fantastic. Look at me go. And while we're here, the big thing we also need to do. Oh, are you kidding me? More of the same? I already have all this stuff. People, what else you got? What else you got? Let's see here. Well, they don't have turnips. We'll have to go to another region for that. All right, now that we're here, let's find all of our people we can sell to and make some cash. It's nearly morning, and we've collected 300 seashells in the night. A lot of, bit of chug a lug in here. Here's a farming trader. Hi. Let's trade you 11 of my shells, and I've already drained you of cash. Hmm. Well, what do I want to do? Do I want canola? No. What I want is I want seed bags. So before I leave here, what I can do is I can say, all right, that's 185 coin. Oh, okay. Well, here, let me get you some more seashells. Oh, ginger. Yeah, I probably want to grow ginger at some point. I'll probably want to grow garlic. Oh, I can't afford it? Oh, well, that's okay. Here, let's just sell that off here. And then let's see here, we'll buy some garlic, oh, let's sell some more seashells, buy some millet. I could easily find the millet. By the way, all of these things you could just find as well. Oh, look at that, parsley. I already have enough parsley, I'm not worried about that. Hmm, should I buy the tea leaf bag? Yeah, why not? Oh, that was the soy bag. Okay, that's fine. Taro seed? Nope, don't need it. Okay, these are tea leaves. Hmm, I want to be able to make tea... So let's see if that unlocks a recipe for me. Perfect, it unlocks the tea seed. So if I do this, and I take about 10 of them, it doesn't cost me much. Now I have unlocked that recipe. Now could you just choose to, you know, just find these things out in the open? Of course, definitely. And by all means, if that's how you want to do it, you go for it. Because it's all up to you how you want to play this. But right now, I'm just going to use all of this stuff to my unfortunate advantage. Or perhaps it's to a fortunate advantage. Let's see here. This is just regular old rice, right? We'll buy that, and now we have rice seed bag, and we have gobo seed bag. We just got a gobo seed bag for that. Okay, that's fine. And then I'll sell... Oh, and they can't afford it. I think we've drained them of everything. Oh, wheat. We'll buy some wheat so that we have that on hand, because when we have it, that means that we have the unlock for making the seed bag. And there we have it. Oh, and they still can't afford anything. Oh, darn. Okay, well, that's fine. I could have bought some tools. I could have bought myself a comma. That'd be fine. Let's see here. Who else can I talk to? There's the village head that we'll talk to for a quest eventually. Hi there. And you have a whole lot of other things I could buy too. 
I already have leaks. I could buy sake from you. I could buy medicine from this person if I... Oh, there we go. Chrysanthemum, because I need that for my... Uh, for one of the shrines near our near Susogi. Let's sell off our seashells here. 18, that was a good amount, so we just made some good cash here. And like I said, later on you're going to be coming back here for a quest. If you've already unlocked your fast travel, then there's where you travel from. We'll find another person to sell to. There we go. Tavern Keep, how are you doing? There we go, have some seashells. Hmm... I suppose I could just buy the sake so I can unlock the recipe, but I am not sure it's worth it. We'll be back. A few things you might want to do while you're here. Make sure you get the small bridge project located so you can remember to come back here later. Oh, so many chugs. So slow. I think I already traded with you, so you're stuck without cash, so you're not going to help me out. Um, you've probably looted all the area already, which is great, so you've got all the resources you want. And when I go back to my home, I'll go ahead and just make sure that I drop these things off in our general store or the food store as the case may be and I'm pretty sure I've got you set up yep so we're done here from here let's go to the monastery so we've gotten some good things here and we've made some cash now we're gonna climb this hill and we're gonna go to the monastery the goal here is to get all of the locations right like I want to have all my locations all set also it does say that I can ask for the for permission from the abbot to settle a new village so let's go for that I'll see you at the other side of a quick fast forward while I climb this hill. Okay, here we are. We have reached the monastery. Now, a big thing about the monastery for y'all is that once you get here, there's a huge amount of refugees that you can hire on. So when you come in and you go to the left here, all of these people are available for you to hire on. Just talk to them and have four villagers already. So I've got, I've already found two while I was out and about during the night. And then what we can do now, oops, I said the wrong option. We don't want to say, why don't you come live with us? Done. Now, I haven't chosen the homes for these people, and I didn't show you all that yet in this particular episode. So if I look at where population is, the reason I didn't care about it yet is that they don't lose happiness until after today. So I'm not going to really worry about it. Plus, I have a lot more other, th I have a lot of other things to solve as a problem. So should we hire on a couple people? Sure. Why not? All right, why don't you come live with us? All right, set. I've maxed out what I can take on, because I had slots for four, right? Now, we still can sell the people, so we're here to sell. This person doesn't have much coin, and they can't even afford one thing from us. Now, could I buy straw from them because I need straw? Oh, you know what I don't have? Honestly, I don't have rot, and that's going to be a recipe that I actually want to unlock, so yeah, I'm fine with that. Buying rotten stuff from the beggar. Now the beggar's doing better. How about that? We're just helping the people out is what we're doing. All right, we can sell our seashells again. And they're here. But now check it out. What could I do? Do I want to just sit here and buy all these meals from this person? Honestly, I could. Let's see here. That cost me 10 coin. And I don't mind that one because it's cheap. And also, I need some food while I'm out running around. So not too opposed to that. And I have all the rest of these things, don't I? I wouldn't mind buying the lingonberries because harvest them. Oh, here we go. The turnips. So the reason I'm getting the turnips is, again, unlocks. Now I've got basically every recipe unlocked already. At this point, I feel like I should just get the sake while I'm at it. Alrighty, I could buy some eggs. These are easy, and they, oh, they only satisfy six for a villager need, and that's 30. But I can buy hmm, quite a few of these. We can make a lot of this stuff. And that's going to be 35 for 80. Hmm. Only 9 for 36. No, that's not worth it. So meat is definitely not worth the time. So it looks like these simple meals are really the way to go. Now this is 65. That's almost, that is double that, but not double the price. This is a fairly good one to buy. Villager meal needs of 65. So if we go into our dynasty legend area, oh, sorry, dynasty, my fault. We'll go to village, population. Hmm. There we go. Sorry, right at the start. Meals of 80. Wow, if I bought one of those things, I would have it set. Hmm. Oops, I talked to him with E. I don't want to do that. You want to do F for trade. I'm kind of running out of slots to put things, so I don't want to know how much more I want to carry on. 53 for that, 65. I might just save myself the hassle later on, and I'll sell her this hat. She can't afford the item? Isn't it only worth... Oh, it's 260 Okay. 
seashells. <laughs> Why not? I guess I could do this and I could save myself the hassle of having to deal with these things. I'm going to do that. Now you choose to spend the money how you want. But keep in mind, I mean, I'm sitting on seashells. I am sitting on this giant stack of seashells that really I don't have any reason to keep. And I can fast travel anytime I'm ready. All right, let's see here. I should have a couple more vendors in this area. So I got to figure out where they ended up. This guy, okay, he was actually a vendor. And he gets stuck on the wall a lot of times. Okay, he's got the short bow. Ah, that's not that's not the one I want. There we go. Look at all that money. Oh my goodness. And no. We can we're gonna get we're gonna get to that point. Let's not worry about it. Okay, are you a vendor? Let's see here. No. And hmm. Is this a vendor stuck outside the walls? Oh, darn it. Yeah, sometimes they kind of get a little confused in their scripting and they just kind of wander off a little further than they should. Oops. I'll tell you what, we're here. Let's talk to the abbot. Hey, abbot! All right, welcome. And the, the school of Hongonji, and the abbot, and I started a village, Reburn, and... It's not breaking the law because we rebuilt on the village, so we're, we're following the storyline. The way that I rebuilt on Sasogi is me kind of following the way the storyline actually goes. And feel free to slow this down if you want. Now, look at that. We have another alarm bell. We have unlocked the steel kama, the armory, and an excellent vegetable meal. So now the next step is to get up to Dynasty level 13, but we're going to get there pretty fast, I would say. I could go all the way over here and find this vendor. I kind of want to because, I don't know, I've got some got some seashells burning a hole in my pocket, don't I? Oh dear. There we go. Oh, look at these poor fools. Oh my goodness, there's a stack of them. Exotic goods trader. Oh yeah, indeed. Now, the funny thing here is that... Oh yeah, I would usually buy the warrior monk clothes, but I found it. I do like the monk hat, so... If I chose to, I could just buy it. You could buy paper lanterns. I mean, honestly, at this point in the game, I would probably buy these now because I want the decorations in my village. Why not? And it looks good. Miniature stupas are nice. They can be stored for our valuables. These are headwares. You can have fun with the masks. You can have fun with the oil lamp. I mean, do whatever you want, right? Like, these are fun things to have. And all of these different statues, I will ultimately buy all of these statues in time. I prefer the monk hat. Look at that. It cost me a thousand, though. Hmm. I just don't know if I want to spend a thousand coin, says the guy looking at all the seashells just sitting in his inventory that he does not need to keep. And look at that. I'm barely breaking a sweat on how much I'm spending here. Oh, yeah, and you know what else I could have done? I should have sold him my straw hat. You there. Ah, you don't have any coin left. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Let's see here. What could we do? Tengu mask kind of looks cool. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, these are things that we could buy. I'll come back and buy more later. Alrighty. In my other video, or in my um, discussion before, I mentioned how running to Iwasaki this way is a little more dangerous because of the amount of wolves. Well, we're going to do it. So let's go for it. And we're going to run all the way north and... Um, they set the rendering distance so that now you don't uh, you won't see trees as much in the distance, which is definitely saving on processor speed and frame rate. So that's great, but it does make everything look a little silly when you look in the distance. But um, it's all good. I remember before this update, you'd see just lush forests out in the distance. And it's a little more fitting, but you know, to save on performance and to be sure that we are, you know, getting good frame rates in the game, this is doing the job. Alright y'all, from here, I just want to show you where you get to to continue onwards. You're going to run into wolves the whole time, so just be ready to run if it's if you're so inclined. Fight if you're so inclined. Um, otherwise, it's really... it's just a trip. We'll just go through this trip. I do kind of like this little area here though. Oh look at that, some loots. Let's go grab some loots. Oh, that's not loots. Hmm, well, okay, sir, I won't steal from you, which means that what's probably about to happen is I'm about to sell some stuff to you. You came into this land to make some money. I got bad news for you, friend. You're going to end up losing money in this deal. These straw hats, hmm. It takes care of villager needs luxury of 80, but I'm guessing I can make them later, so I'm not too worried about it. 
Oh, a smithy building recipe, huh? Sure. Okay. That seems fine by me. These cost 400. No, I'm not in I'm not into that. But the iron ore only costs 60. I was going to go all the way to Iwasaki to do the mining. That's going to cost me 1200. How greedy am I? How much do I want to be rich? <laughs> Probably not much, honestly. I'm going to go to Iwasaki regardless. So I think at this point I don't need to I don't need to buy the iron from here. These could save me some time, but I think they're pretty easy to make and it's not helping me out much to have it. Chisel's not a bad idea, and Iron Axe isn't a bad thought, because right now I don't really have access to building it. I don't have any iron, but it won't be hard to make it. Nah, I don't really need any of this stuff. But we do like having the money on hand, so we can unlock all the recipes as we go. Before I do the fast forward, it's worth just looking at this bridge, and we'll share some time just doing this part of the game. And part of, you know, the joy of this is also, as we play alongside together, I want to show you all the pretty areas that you can go to, Maybe we'll just kind of run up the coast a bit here. Because I do have to decide where to build my village, right? Like, that's another thing. We have a whole new bell that we can build with. And that's going to help us out by expanding what we have. So my thoughts are, I do want to have a village that's kind of conveniently located centrally so I can get to all of the other villages. But then again, I think about that and I go, but I don't have to care. I mean, I, I, I don't have to care. I can just fast travel everywhere, so why not just build where I want to be? And this area is one that I like. It's nice and flat and expansive. I've shown this in the video. I do like how it's got access to almost everything you could want as far as you've got some beautiful flowers you can choose to build around creatively. You could creatively build around some of the grasses. It's got a little bit of terrace and a little leveling around it. It's got plenty of clay. It's got this little pond, which could be a great decoration, and you could also, you know, take the time to... You could turn that into something gorgeous. There's a lot of random resources in the area. And by the way, I'd mentioned before how you could find a lot of this stuff out and about. Well, there you go. Look at that. Now we have wheat. And if I didn't already take the wheat, I now have wheat so I can unlock that recipe. And that's great. So now we can make wheat. Oh, look. A bandit. This area is not bad either, and I like how this is... Kind of low-landed, and this low-land area can be great for us. Alrighty, well, through here, we're just going to head north to Iwasaki. And at this point, I'm going to aim myself at Iwasaki, which is on the... I put a little marker on there. By the way, I didn't tell you how to do that. You just right-click on the map. You can right-click to take it away, you can right-click to place it. You can tell Iwasaki is there because you can see the walls. Alrighty, from here, there's another nice area over here, which is the Motherlode, the uh, mining project. It's right by the riverside. It's a thought. I might consider building there too, but I'm guessing I'll build at Seaside, if I'm being honest. See you in Iwasaki. Ah, uh, here we are in Iwasaki. And you'll notice that there are refugees outside of the area which is great. You can hire on four more, which is a huge amount, honestly. Like, this is... There's a lot of refugees. It's easy to get refugees now, which is really handy, although it's going to make us progress really quickly. We'll trade with our mining person here. Look at that. I'm done. I could buy a stone pickaxe for nothing. I haven't figured out what rope is for yet, and I think in the other... I think I honestly just bought it because I kind of was like, huh, I don't know what this is for. And I don't want to come back here. But I can fast travel, right? I mean, I can always come back. Nope, you're stuck, which is great. We're going to sell to you. All right, cool. Glad to have you here. In the future, we're going to be able to do a quest in this area. And that quest is going to allow us to do a little bit of uh, advancement and unlocking, a rest uh, unlocking of things. So for this one, how do I use it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do I have to equip it? Huh. Not sure how I use that one. So we'll have to figure that one out in time. Alright, let's go in here further. And by the way, the next thing that I wanted to mention while we're here, because I did mention how we were going to get some ore. Well, here it is. Do I have a pickaxe yet? I sure do. Of course I would. I always tend to have the things built ahead of time. You go inside this mine. And then, oh, shoot, that's going to be a problem. Sorry, y'all. It's going to be pretty dark in here. 
interesting. Did they actually get rid of the iron? Oh, there we go. There we go. I turned up the brightness just so that you could actually uh, see this. Sorry for the dark before there. So check this out. I'm in here and I'm just going to mine for a while. This is their mine. And by the way, this village is run by a headmaster who utilizes slavery to get his resources. So do I feel at all bad for coming in here and stealing their iron? Not even slightly. And one of our quests we can do later, we can actually liberate one of the slaves. And I'm kind of hoping in the future of the game that they that there are more quests. It'd be nice if there's a way for you to you know make a difference in the area. Maybe you can take down the headmaster in a quest and uh, take over the village or have somebody else take over the village so that you can have a slave rebellion. I think that'd be a super fun quest line to have. And it feels in line with what's being attempted in this particular game, right? We're attempting to talk about this idea that um, this is the peasant kingdom, right? So I'd love it if there are ways for us to expand that and to take down the bad in the area. Maybe even join with the bandits or choose not to join with the bandits. So here we are. So far I have gathered up a fair amount of iron, but I'm out of sticks unfortunately, so that's going to slow me down from doing any more work in the mine. If you're here, please do make sure you take the time to get as much of this stuff as you can get away with. I'm going to... Oh yeah, I don't have space for anything. There we go. We'll just drink the water, which I have no idea what it did. Because there isn't really a... There isn't really anything for... I don't think there's a mechanic for that yet. Oh yeah, no space for the item, which hopefully got dropped on the ground. Alrighty, then we'll drop this stick. We're so overloaded. Isn't that funny? Oh, you know what I could probably do? I wonder if I can equip this. Darn it. Can't. Can I equip the bell? No. Darn. Oh well. I don't want to carry the stick because the stick is not going to allow me to carry more mining resources. Got stuck on a random environmental thing. Into the mine we go. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to mine I go. I'm stealing your ore and you can't stop me. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Alrighty. We can get up to 60, I believe. I think that's where we're at, since I only have so many slots in my inventory, right? Ooh, we can get up to 80. Alrighty, we'll just do this, because this is me talking about the idea that I want iron for my villagers. We're going to be... Honestly, people, I think this is going to be pretty raucous start here, pretty ridiculous. Alright, we could spend more time here, assuredly. And there are other mines in the area that you can go to, but I like this one. I like taking from the headmaster. That's what I like. So let's head into here. We'll fast travel home. And from here, I'll probably have to call it for the episode because I got to get back to my duties in my real life. So here we go. Welcome back to Sasogi. It's good to be home. Now, the tricky thing we have here back in Sasogi is that I have a lot of villagers and I don't have enough jobs. Now, I was going to assign some people to the workshop to build things, but keep in mind, I didn't have... We're in the afternoon and they haven't produced yet, so it's a big deal. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at that, we still have... I have 124 seashells left. I mean, what? It's just absurd. So from here, let's go see what we can have our person build. Oh yeah, we should definitely get our population set up. You people need homes. Like, let's not let's not make you wait any longer. There you go. And let's get you a home. Let's not wake you make you wait any longer. There you go. So this was all me just running around finding things, and then of course, obviously, we also could have. Oh look at that! We got the tailor workshop, and oh fields and wells and oh yeah, perfect. So this is it. So by reaching this next milestone, yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, let's see here. We can't keep calling it this. We need to call it New Sasogi. There we go. Welcome to New Sasogi. There we go. Oh my, we just unlocked a lot of things that we needed. Okay. Population-wise, now you'll notice that because we've unlocked a lot of things, now we're stuck. Now we have lots of needs. Heating is handled through firewood. 
chop down some logs, use some logs, and make firewood out of it. I'll show you that shortly. Meals, obviously. Beverages. Mmm. Now we need to think about the bevy storage. So that's a thing we're going to build. We're going to go to buildings. We need to go to storages. And now it's important to have a beverage storage. It's going to be worthwhile to have tea. Because tea is, in this game, a great drink for your beverage satisfaction. Which is definitely the correct way to say that, right? Let's put in all of those things. And let's check our needs here now. Hmm. It only took us up to 340, so it's not as much as I was actually expecting. That's okay. We can take care of this. The next thing we're going to need is a well. So we'll go to village structures and we'll go to wells. And it looks like we can build a small well or a simple well. Huh. And I have no idea which one's better. So I'll just go with this one. Now, I usually put it on the wrong side of that. So instead what I'll do is I'll put it right here. I kind of like it to be... I like it to be right next to the food. Why not? Looks cool. Looks cool. And then we can just walk right into here when we're done. Okay, back on track, y'all. Back on track. I need to assign this person a job, and I have nothing. What am I supposed to do? Make this person make buckets? <laughs> I do need buckets, right? Like, it's a thing. Five buckets. Yeah, why not? Just, you, you go for it, man. I already have the ads made before. I mean, why not? Let's just do this. So you've got buckets. Ah, what else could we make in the uh, workshop? Let's see here. We can craft basic tools. Uh, oh, cool. We can build a lot of these things. That's good. We need oil, so that's a thing. We'll get to that. We need a landfill and a water bucket. Yeah, okay, cool. And we need this to unlock these things, but I think we're okay. Interesting. Iron axes. I have iron ore. I'm ready for that. And an iron pickaxe? Oh, yes. It's, I mean, almost. it's almost a little silly that I can do all these things. Here we go. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get production buildings up. And do I have a kitchen? Hmm, interesting. Ooh, the hunter's hut. Yes. Because I want to get some things out of this. Boom. So this is my food storage. This is my bevy storage. I'm not terribly worried about my organizational strategy right now. I'm just kind of building, right? I'm just kind of setting up. Let's see here. For production, hmm. I do want the tailor's workshop and I want a smithy. I think what we'll do with our smithy is we'll put it in... We'll make it a part of the main village area. We'll put it here. And then... Got a good collection of things going on here. I would have... Once I build this next building, all these things are going to vanish. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this stuff and harvest it. Let's do that. And, let's see, well, I'll tell you what, once we get all these sticks, we do need more sticks, because we haven't really done that for a while, and I'm about to build some things. We're going to need planks, by the way. For most of these production buildings, it's all about the planks. Taylor's Workshop is a huge deal, by the way. Make sure you get this one as quick as you can, because it is a big part of your advancement. It is worth noting that we should make a fisherman's hut as well. I think that that's another big one to build, so let's head over the coast and get that started up. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to build all it. Like I said before, I'm going to build all this stuff off camera so you don't have to watch me slowly but surely do this work. And now that we have so many villagers, I mean, it's just no question. We've got nothing but capacity, right? Like we have nothing but capacity to just take care of all these things. All right, we'll put this right on the shoreline. How about right there? There we go. Have I officially taking care of all of the things with a guard tower would be good. I like that. I now have standard houses. Smithy, fishing. We don't have the mining posts, so we need to get to that. And we need the kitchen, the forger's hut. But honestly, I, I'm not sure I care. Kitchen will be good for making foods. So I think that'll be the last thing that we do. And I'm going to need a lot of logs, but I have a lot of villagers working hard at making sure that we have everything we need. I wonder if I can fit the kitchen right there. Do I feel right about putting the kitchen there? Not entirely. Kind of think it'd be nice if we had it central on the location. Maybe we'll put it right here. It's going to little look a little off kilter since we don't have anything else sitting here, but that should be okay for now. 
Let's see here. And obviously I can move. All of these structures I can move whenever I see fit. So there you go, people. This is the point where I'm going to say take care and see you next time. Thanks for joining me. There's a lot of work left for me to do to build this village up, and I'm going to do that off camera. I'll see you next time around.